today's topic I'd like to discuss safety. Safety is always recommended from OEM cars to full-blown race cars. Depending on the rank of the car determines how much safety equipment you'll need. But just because you have safety equipment does not mean you're using it properly. Now as far as safety goes for race cars, safety can go from helmets to roll cages. And there's lots of information in the NHRA rulebook. They break down every detail except the ideal place to mount the chute loop. This is where when the parachute is deployed, it pulls on the car. I found the general rule of thumb is somewhere through the crank and camshaft center line. So if you're looking at the rear of the car, you mount it in the center from left to right horizontally, vertically at the center of mass. Now my biggest red flag with all this research is they're not front wheel drive cars. One of the biggest problems these front wheel drive cars have is they're too light in the rear. That makes it extremely dangerous, especially when it comes to weight transfer when you pull the chute. I had the chance to speak to someone from Simpson Racing. They do a lot of safety equipment, obviously top of the line NHRA approved. And he gave me some great insight. And obviously I focused on the parachute side of things. So he did mention before you purchase, if you don't know what you're doing, always ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help because size and length do play a big part in getting a parachute and slowing your car down. And most importantly, keeping it straight. But when it came to the ideal spot of where to mount the chute loop, the only thing anybody could really say, and it's in the NHRA rule book, is you, know, you mount the chute 12 inches away from the rear of the car at an angle. But that's talking about the pack. That's where the parachute is actually packed in. It's not talking about the chute loop, you know, the part where it's actually pulling from the frame of the car. So I figured there had to be a science to this. So I did some research and I actually found a California State Science Fair project that won in the engineering class. Bridget McMillan not only won, but she proved that her calculations actually worked into slowing the car down safely and straight. Her test cars happen to be several land speed cars, holds multiple records from fastest front wheel drive and four cylinder Hondas in excess of 245 miles an hour. In the beginning, they found stopping these 200 plus mile an hour cars straight was not easy, which is when Bridget started to use science. After calculating the center mass, she found the ideal point on where to mount the parachute tow line. In this point, having the chute tow line pull through the center of gravity would not only make it stop safer, it would also reduce the amount of weight transfer once the chute is deployed. So Bridget not only won, but with all the testing and calculations, she has proven it to work safely and efficiently. Now, several cars have implemented Bridget's research for more stable stopping. I won't get into more detail because it does take a lot of work. You gotta calculate everything. It takes time, just like tuning a car. But I will leave you with this. I'm sure everybody has their own opinions, so please feel free to comment. I've got one last question. Do you know where the center of gravity point is on your car? Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And remember, life's so, so sick. Live it. If you don't know how to live it, well, here's a good place to start. So here's your screen. Scroll up. You can get your oh so sick gear directly off of the phone right here on your, my right and your left. No, your other left. There you go, just click it, and in three to five days, you've got mail.